Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today is Thursday. I am just about to export. I'm exporting actually the video that I just watched. I mean you watched last week. Um, today I have a very intense day. I have to, well I'm exporting the video as you already saw. I need to record uh, my podcast newsletter for my patrons, which is a podcast that I upload every two weeks in Spanish and in English. And um, this is actually the stuff that I need for <laughs> recording the podcast. Um, I also have to paint four t-shirts. I mean, I am doing wishful thinking right now because I don't know if I'll be able to paint uh, four t-shirts, but I'll do my best. Hi guys, it's Friday, the end of the week. Right now Ed and I are working, he's doing his crazy camera stuff. <laughs> I had a very busy morning. I uploaded the video that you watched last week. I wrote the subtitles really quickly and then oh, I upload the podcast newsletter for Patreon and later on I prepare all the pictures for this weekend because I really want to rest this weekend, guys. So I managed to um, edit the pictures for today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they're ready to go, ready to go off on Instagram. And right now I am, I want to drink tea. <laughs> and I think I'm going to paint the two remaining t-shirts uh, for Monday and Tuesday, I, I think. Uh, but I have no plans, guys. I am like in between this weird space in which I have like to organize some things. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy that the weekend is here and I'm I'm going to rest. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the the challenge so far. I'm having the best time and it's so nice to not look at the screen. It's very relaxing to paint and just like listen to podcasts. Finally, catch up with my favorite podcasts. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. By the way, guys, I didn't tell you, but when I am second guessing myself in terms of which color to use, what I do is I <laughs> do a quick sketch on Photoshop with the colors of the t-shirt and the colors of the illustration. Uh, for example, yesterday I painted this one cookie, best word ever, and I had no idea which color to paint her, her hair and I didn't want to use pink again because I already did uh, a picture, I mean a t-shirt with a pink uh, background, not pink background but lots of pink. Or for example in this one for the monkeys I had no idea which color to use for the monkeys. So every time you're using like an analog or traditional um, media or a painting or an illustration, try to do a very quick sketch on Photoshop first because it's way more easy to change color and test them and see what what is working and what is not working. And so far um, a couple of t-shirts I have done it this way and it's been the best. Hi guys and happy Monday. Uh, 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 today's a very dark Monday actually. I don't know why the light has gone. But today I'm having coffee <laughs> because that's what you do on Mondays. And um, I'm replying a few emails uh, trying to start the day on the best 
mood and I need to finish these t-shirts. Uh, these t-shirts, this t-shirt. Apparently this one has been taking a long time to do because it has lots of layers and details. And if I can be honest, guys, I'm running out of ideas. So um, I think most of my afternoon is going to consist on drawing and sketching more ideas because I'm looking at my calendar right now and I think I have t-shirts available until Thursday this week, um, which is problematic because most of them take a few days to complete. So I don't know, guys, I'm really nervous <laughs> because I have no idea what to draw, but please join me in this marvelous madness because I have no idea what to do. 2009. Mm. Yeah, they used to... Oh, you mean... Oh, I love that one. Uh, well, there, there's a bunch of them that I love. Um, so, I, we just had lunch. <clears throat> Jazz, Ed and I, and now I'm about to start drawing, start sketching new ideas for the challenge. I have officially reached that point in the 30 challenge in which I have no idea what to draw and what to do. And it's very frustrating because um, when you're over your first weekend and then you start realizing that you have to do this every single day and you have to keep like... I don't know, come up with new and amazing ideas for each and every single day is exhausting. I love that you can still see me from here, but <laughs> hi guys, I just made myself a cup of tea. It's been really hard to focus on the designs because I have no ideas, guys. Like I have been trying to figure out something, but it's really, really hard. So I've been um, going back and forth um, like fiddling through my old, now old sketchbook, sketchbook because I just started a new one. Um, trying to look for ideas or like all things that I put on Instagram that might work maybe, maybe as a t-shirt, but it is really, really hard. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, today I'm about to... God, I have no idea what to do because I really need to start painting more t-shirts but I don't know um, if I should do more sketches and then paint t-shirts or just like paint t-shirts. Gaynor and Casey and who else? Nemish ask what kind of paints do I use right now? I am using these paintings. These paints? These paintings? These paints. Um, so I started using uh, the PVO, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Um, and so far it hasn't been my favorite because you have to iron this before um, washing them and the color change slightly when you iron them. So I don't know if I will recommend these ones. And these ones are by far my favorite, they're the tulip. I've been using lots of these paintings because they don't need any type of ironing. Ironing. <laughs> so far they're great. Um, someone asked if the paint goes away, like fades away when you wash them. And no, the idea is that it doesn't go away. Before, of course, selling them and do anything with them, I'm going to wash them first, but they shouldn't go, none of the paint should go away. And I still have I have no plans for the t-shirts, guys. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Look, this is my calendar. If you're doing ever a 30-day challenge, you might need one of these. <laughs> so I have t-shirts uh, available for until like Thursday. Is that is that available, the word that I'm looking for? Anyway, so I have uh, t-shirts ready to go until Thursday. So my goal it is to paint today three t-shirts so I can still, so I can at least have all the weekend ready um, ahead. Because as I mentioned before, t-shirts get, they need a long time to get dry to paint another layer. So this is what I'm doing today right now. And I was checking, so this is the sketchbook, sketchbook, the sketch that I'm doing right now. Um, I am not very good at drawing dogs, guys. <laughs> but I know you guys love dogs as much as I 
do love cats and I'm checking my sketchbook if I can um, have more ideas for like doggy designs or any other thing that I can think of and usually Ed is really good at helping me choose the right words for the jokes in case they don't work out I think I'm going to go to a cafe and work on the illustrations because I am so uninspired today guys but I will keep you posted Hi guys, I just came back from the coffee shop and now I think I have a couple more ideas for t-shirts. So I think I have probably an hour before I go to a gym <laughs> to sketch some ideas on this paper. Um, I think Emily Clearwater, I think that's your name, you asked me about this paper. The truth is guys, this is just a random roll of paper I had. Um, in my office. I think a couple of months ago Jess and I bought rolls of pastel color paper so we can take pictures. It's the same paper I use to do the photo shoot, the pink one, but since I never use green for backgrounds I decided to give it a good um, use and I've been using that one uh, for all of the drawings because I needed like a huge piece of paper not only like not a A4 size paper so that's why I'm using this one and I think Ale Martinez, she asked me about what was the process to plan this project. And the truth is guys, I just wanted to do something clothing wise, but um, instead of buying new t-shirts, and I know that's, um, I think that's that was another question, uh, Oana's a great idea but why secondhand t-shirts and it's because I really feel really passionate about giving clothes a second chance and uh, since I don't want to produce more clothing since I don't want to pay for new pieces of clothing I would rather use clothes that are in perfect conditions but that are used and give them a second chance and that's why I wanted to use only thrifted clothes um, um, I haven't I didn't actually plan as you can see this project more than what I actually doing right now I just wanted to do this I felt very passionate about this and I thought to myself the only way to push myself to do amazing t-shirt designs is to put myself in a 30-day challenge because I'm forcing myself to come up with 30 ideas no matter if they're good or bad or <laughs> you know so that's why I wanted to do this um, in a challenge little did I know <laughs> that this was actually really really challenging in the sense of the painting process but I'm actually I'm having such a good time guys um, a lot of you ask me um, what am I using to paint I already showed you the painting but I am also using I don't know if you can see guys but this this is actually a piece of cardboard that <laughs> it has a Sainsbury's bag um, but I'm using cardboard with um, plastic bags to cover the fabric uh, the first tries that I had with t-shirt painting t-shirts I realized that since fabric is a see-through material it has fiber on it the paint goes all the way through the fabric through the other side so you have to use a plastic but steady like hard uh, surface to paint on and thank god I did it a couple of trials before this challenge and I think that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for all of you who sent me questions Jess and I selected um, the ones that you just heard but please let me know if you have any more questions regarding challenges and um, just like projects in general because I would love to help you guys and um, I'm so sorry if this month is going to be very monotomatic because I really want to share all of the process like the ups and downs um, but I will make sure to show you more stuff uh, next week. 
So please stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. Thank you so much to all of you who have followed the challenge uh, on Instagram and on social media. Uh, and thank you so much also to all of my patrons because you're seriously the best. Thank you so much, patrons. Uh, I hope you are. I hope you are enjoying the challenge, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend week ahead. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye 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 bye